are in the kitchen this Monday morning. We're back with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro, and we're talking veggies. What do you do with all those veggies that sprout up in your garden? And you use Maybe you have too much of one thing, or you don't know what to do. You get these great veggies, very colorful. Absolutely. Cucumbers uh, are, cucumbers are one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cucumbers are one that everybody overplants. They're like, I love cucumbers. I'm gonna put down ten cucumber plants, and they realize cucumbers grow everywhere. They just grow. They grow out. They grow up. They got cucumbers everywhere, and then they have cucumbers this size and that size. And they have cucumbers that size, and that's not a cucumber. That's a cucumber. <laughs> uh, that's but, then they get confused about their cucumbers. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, but cucumbers are delicious. They're great to pickle. You can slice them down. You can do them whole. You know, the little pickling cucumbers that you have like this, and you could do, you know, um, sliced and you know just a little bit of vinegar with some mm -hmm. fresh dill and garlic. That's nice. Or you could do this cucumber salsa that we have uh, at our restaurant that we do with our fish tacos. That's very popular, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right. Very very easy. And this is real good. And, um, and you just start off with just a, a couple of cucumbers. Uh, you, um, you peel them down, and then we're going to seed them. And we're going to get you going on this. Okay. So, okay, so you're just going to take right. this and just seed that. Just scoop it. it out there in the bowl. And while you're doing that, I'm going to finish. Um, after you've got it seeded, you're going to just cut them down in strips. Right. And I'm going to dice them up. And I've also got over here in my little side bowls here, I've got some green bell pepper and some red bell pepper. You know, I love this because it definitely has that healthy vibe. Absolutely. And that whole idea that you could grow this yourself in your yes. backyard. Yes, yes, And yes, Chef yes. Jeff Brown gives you ideas of what you can do with it once they're all ready to go. Right. And the cool thing about, you know, having your own okay, little garden at home is, you know, you're growing your own stuff. And everybody loves that, you know, really likes to go out in the garden, get with the kids. It's a great little family opportunity to do. That's perfect. Look at you. You're so, oh good. My you're so yeah. good at that. And you were saying that um, with the cucumber salsa, you guys do serve it in the restaurant. Yes. Um, and can you put the salsa on different things? You can put it on whatever. It's good on chicken. It's good on mm -hmm. pork. It's great on seafood. It's great just as a side, as an appetizer. Eat like you know, just as like a, like a condiment. You know, eating with you know with with whatever. You know, just can munch on some cucumbers. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, salsa. just really, 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 really just a nice light summertime. You know, a little fresh. Snack. Yeah, absolutely. So we got that going in. Okay. We got some red bells. Okay. Okay. We got some green bells. You give that a stir up. All right. We'll just stir this up. What really makes this dish pop? What is Some it? Fresh what cilantro. Is it? Cilantro. Yes, you gotta have that. I don't know though. I, I kind of, you know, don't like too much cilantro on my stuff. Well, then you're really not gonna like this because <laughs> you're gonna love. <laughs> this is really good, and you don't want it to, you know, too much um, of a chop because you really like it. So we're gonna stir that in as well. Yeah, just stir it right on it. And I wish you guys at home could really smell that because it just yeah, that that to me is the the really fresh, 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 fresh. A little bit of red wine vinegar. All right, and how much are we putting? What's a little? I'd say about about a, about a tablespoon. Okay? okay. A little bit of sugar to pull away from the acidity. All right. About a tablespoon also. Okay. A little bit of olive oil, just to give it a nice little coat. Looking like salsa. Yeah. A little bit of salt and pepper just for flavor. And a little crushed red pepper, uh, pepper flakes for a little heat. And that's it. Now you can serve this immediately if you'd like to, mm -hmm. or you can let it sit in the refrigerator for a little while. To really, you know, get some flavor onto it, and of course, you know me and my magic oven. Something really. You got some tortillas. I do got some tortillas. Is this something you serve year round? This salsa? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. You can do this year round. This is really good. Oh, we got some shrimp. Some scrumps. Some nice That's what I was smelling nice in the magic oven this morning. I was like, tacos. there's something more than vegetables going on Put in here. Put some of that salsa right on top of there. Just right on top. Yep. Boom. More? Less? That's fine. Doesn't matter. There's no rules. One no, rule. However much you want. You gotta wear a shirt. That's it. All right. Look at that. That's nice. All right. It's a nice little shrimp taco. Look at that. That's a nice little light summer meal. Mm -hmm. You can't beat that with a stick. Well, you could, but that would be weird. Would you put anything else on top of this? You know, you could put like some creme fraiche on there, a nice chipotle ranch, mm -hmm. your favorite taco sauce, whatever you want to put on there. Or it probably would be pretty tasty, just, just like that. Just huh? like that's how I would roll with it, and mm -hmm. just no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Just go okay, out. so again, that was cucumbers, red bell peppers, green bell peppers, some cilantro, and some of their various uh, additives yes. to just make that. Okay, so what do we got going on a little bit later? Because we we've still got all these veggies. We're going to do a little bit of veggie slaw with a little Asian twist on it with a little bit of um, a little bit of sesame oil, some fresh sesame seeds, some carrots, zucchini, squash. We're going to talk about some squash. As my dad likes to say, he's from Missouri, the show me state. And, uh, <laughs> and that's, uh, you know, that's another little nice thing. It's a nice chilled salad that's good to do. 
as a uh, side as a side dish or a nice little condiment. So we'll talk about some squash when we come back. Okay, sounds good. We can all get this at Cotton Southern Bistro, Chef Jeff Brown. How are things going at the new location? We're doing great out there. It's wonderful. We're really getting things uh, worked out out there. We're uh, very excited. Everybody's uh, getting introduced to Cotton Southern Bistro in Virginia Beach. And uh, is it a different vibe from Chesapeake? No. Uh, well, you know, it's it's definitely different. It's got it's its own atmosphere out there. Mm -hmm. But you know, we really try to bring. You know, cotton is its own animal. So All right. Okay. Uh, well, we're, we're going to get a unique, we're going to get we're a unique experience. <laughs> More of this unique taste from Chef Jeff Brown as we uh, come back a little bit later. And right now, we're going to send it on over to Chris. <laughs> we're back now in the kitchen with Chef Jeff Brown from Cotton Southern Bistro. He has been. Going at it, chopping up all our veggies because we're talking veggies today. Veggie. Been getting fancy, julianing um, some of the veggies. Now you're Julian. chopping up our bell peppers, our red bell peppers. And so, what do we got going on this time? We did that cucumber salsa earlier and added right. it with some shrimp, made a little taco. You guys serve that at the restaurant. And we're just talking about ways to put your garden veggies to use. Absolutely. That's right. You need to use this stuff up. Don't let it sit on the vine and rot. You need to get it out there. And let me tell you something else that's a lost art. I want people to take note of and, and really right, get back into notes. is canning. This is your friend. This is not just for corn liquor. Although, ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, that's not a can. It's a jar. Canning. 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 Whatever. It's a jar. Of. Mm -hmm. This is a jar. <laughs> um, no, really, I mean, this is your friend. I mean, this is great for doing all those tomatoes, all those cucumbers, all those squash. I mean, everything. Just put, you know, and they're very simple. Walmart's got them. All your stores have got them. You just, you know, it's something nice to do with the, with the family and get mm -hmm. the kids involved. You just make it a family affair. Put it right on in there, just, uh, making jams and jellies and all that stuff. I think that everybody should get back into that. That's something that's really fun to do. <laughs> all right. So yeah, everybody should get back in the camp. All right. Well, so what are we doing right now, though? This is the Asian slaw that I like to do at the restaurant. This is something that's very nice. This is the Asian style slaw, mm -hmm. and uh, we've got some uh, zucchini and squash. So we've taken our zucchini and um, and squash, and we've basically come on outside, and we're just going to come down and take a, like a little bit of just the peels, all we want. So you see how I just did that, and we're just going to come down, and um, and we're just going to just do a, a real thin julienne cut. The professor and julienne. Mm -hmm. And you were saying that this slaw is good as like a side. It's a nice side. It's a good as a condiment, but it's you know, you served chill. You definitely don't want to serve this hot. So um, we've got zucchini in here. We've got a yellow squash in here. And um, you can use a mandolin if you want to, but if your mandolin's faulty like mine is. Oh, it wasn't working. It was acting up this morning, huh? It was not going all the way through. So uh -oh. we're gonna have a we're gonna have to tune that mandolin outside later on. All right. So you got some aggression. Out. We got some red bell pepper, mm -hmm. okay? Mm hmm In there, and we also got some carrot. Um, very easy recipe. And uh, as you you know, like I said, nothing's cooked here, so very, very easy, very, very, very fast. Fast, fresh, colorful. And you can do this right mm -hmm. into the um, refrigerator and keep it for days. So, uh, a little bit of crushed red pepper plate for a little bit of heat. Okay. okay. What We've else got we got there? some fresh ginger. Oh, excuse fresh. me, uh, ground ginger. Ground ginger. Right. You can use fresh if you'd like to. Mm -hmm. I, suggest, I suggest fresh. We've got some toasted sesame seed and some black sesame seed. Okay. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper's here. <laughs> Going to push it good. That's right. All right. Ah, push it. Curry. Curry. Just a little bit. And right here, and a little bit of sesame oil. Sesame oil. Mm -hmm. Lots of flavor in sesame oil. So what do you serve this with at the uh, restaurant? We do this just as a side, or we'll serve it, we'll pair it up with a, um, with a nice uh, meat. We're going to do today with some crab cakes. Oh, that sounds yummy. Yeah, so a little bit of sugar that pulls away from the acidity, as you can remember. We'll take this. I'm just gonna... When I say we, I mean you. Okay. Boop, boop. Toss, toss. All right, toss, toss, toss. So once you put it together, you gotta chill it. You said. Yeah, I would let chill. You can serve it just like that if you'd like. Mm -hmm. But you know, like I said, this is just really, really quick stuff. See, I can handle the tossing it up. That's so yeah. easy. Yeah, I can do this. You know me. Give me like a nice big pile of right here in the middle of this plate. Can big you handle that? You know, it smells like an Asian oh, slaw. Really That's good. Just, that Look aroma. how beautiful that is. More? I mean, that is just, yeah, absolutely. Give me a big pile of it. Okay. Nice and light. And this is just, this eats so good. <laughs> it really, really Here does. We go. That's perfect. All right. And this, just top with that. Boom. All right. Look at that with the that crab cake on top. All right. So, so Cotton Southern Bistro, you can. 
telling us how to cook up our veggies today and oh, keep it fresh, keep it healthy, you can visit Chef Jeff Brown at Cotton Southern Bistro in Chesapeake at 648 Grassfield Parkway, number 12. Give them a call there at 609-3156. Also, their website, cottonsouthernbistro.com. And don't forget, they are now open at Hilltop West Shopping Center oh, in Virginia yeah. Beach. The number there is 961-6474. And again, that website, cottonsouthernbistro.com. Thanks so much for coming Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And doing the veggies much. with us. Looks good. Mm-hmm.